there was in the last episodes we did there was a whole bunch of times where there's just obs that comes up and i'm like i'm not gonna edit that out i don't care <laughs> yeah it's like oh whatever hello i heard i'm gonna hit record so i came in so here she, to be an asshole she comes in immediately <laughs> yeah, i mean it's very important hi, gotta be in billy. hi melissa hi hi baby billy <laughs> I wish I could have come up there, but cars no work. Cars no work, yeah. Have you have you seen the Righteous Gemstones, uh, Billy? No, I haven't. Oh, there's a character in it named Uncle Baby Billy. Oh, okay. That's why. And he tries to sell. Uncle he tries Billy. to sell them on uh, Bible Bonkers. Yeah, I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a. It's like a. I don't know. It's like a drama comedy show about a mega church about a mega church family it's got danny mcbride okay. and uh john gooding john goodman isn't, sorry isn't uh adam's uh adam sandler in it no 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 adam divine oh yeah that's that's right he's in he's in something else that's with gems oh yeah you're right i forget I just realized I, I opened up Studio One to make sure everything was good, like, and it's, it's going to capture that. <laughs> <laughs> can can I have a Yankee Sober? What am I going to have for lunch? I don't know. You have whatever you want. Are you guys just a bunch of yoga hosers? We don't have any biryani today, so... Yeah, we are a bunch of yoga hosers. I don't think I've ever seen you do yoga. Oh, what I do might not be classified as yoga, so... Yeah, he's in an uncut, uncut gems. That's that's it. what it is. Yeah, yeah. Not the righteous gemstones. That's a different thing. No, righteous. Yeah, righteous gemstones. I think is like written and produced by Danny McBride. I think. Okay. Um, it's pretty good. Like, there's three seasons of it. It's pretty good. It's pretty. It's pretty good. Steve Zahn makes an appearance in uh, in uh, season three. I'm a big fan of Steve Zahn. Do you, remember, do, you, do you know who Steve Zahn is? No, I don't he's, remember. Uh, he's one of the guys from Saving Silverman. Oh, okay, yes, I do yeah. know who you're talking about now. He's That's like his most famous role. <laughs> Steve Zizou. No, that was Bill Murray. Oh, I like Bill Murray. I like it when he got shot in Zombieland. Did you see the latest Wes Anderson flicks, <clears throat> Billy? I have not. The last one that I have... S- well, I was going to go see was Isle of Dogs, and I haven't seen that or anything okay. else. Okay, Isle of Dogs is good. The one after that is the French Dispatch. Not as okay. good. Not no? as good. It's like to me watching it. It's really obtuse and weird because it's not like a traditional story. Um, but the thing about it, ultimately, too, is that it's like the most Wes Anderson movie I've ever seen to the point that it feels like it's a parody of Wes Anderson. Oh, okay. Like, he just goes full Wes Anderson, no disregard for anything else, and it's just, just weird. He yeah. just goes hard he into goes hard. being mm-hmm. Wes Anderson. Pretty much, yeah. So it's like, it's weird in that sense. So what it is, is like it's a... French Dispatch, like in the in the film, is like a like a newspaper or something like okay. that, or like some kind of like you know periodical or something. And like the movie is just a series of like vignettes about the stories that they've written in it. So mm-hmm. it's not like one through line narrative. It's just a bunch of like mini like short films almost. Okay. And it, Interesting. And then, and then it kind of eventually cuts back and forth between like the writing staff of the of the periodical and the story itself unfolding. Mm-hmm. Um, so there is kind of like a meta narrative, but not really. It, the, there's not really a meta narrative, and I don't want to spoil what happens. Yeah, in it, yeah. But it's like it, it's stuff not, happens. It's like hardly a meta narrative. It's just that it culminates in one event at the end, basically, and that's it. And then yeah, the rest of it is just like. Wes Anderson ass characters acting weird and like dumb shit. <laughs> now is Willem Dafoe in it? I f- probably. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember because like any any like major person that's in it is only in it for like twenty minutes. You know? Oh okay. Like they're not in it the whole time. 
Like Leah Sidhu's in it. You see her naked a couple times. Yeah, nice. Benicio del Toro is in it. Do you and see he's him in naked? It. No, no. He he's like a painter and he paints her naked or something. Oh, okay. I don't know. And then like Adrian Brody's in it for a little bit. I think Willem Dafoe's in the story with Adrian Brody, but I could be wrong. I don't remember. Melissa fell asleep during it, so God why? <laughs> God why? I like I'm just talking over this stupid cutscene. Like, get the fuck out of here with this shit. <laughs> oh, apparently there's another one that's coming out. Asteroid City. Yeah, Asteroid City. It's on Amazon, bro. You can watch it on Amazon. Bruh. I we haven't watched it, but yeah, you can watch it on Amazon. All right. Um, that one also looks like a very Wes Anderson ass movie, like just him fucking putting everything in a pastel color. Um, As uh, he is to do. Yeah. You know what? I'm all right with that because I do like the uh, what you call it the uh, the bright colors and stuff. So much yeah. has been desaturated. Yeah. Oh, I dig that. Yeah. Speaking of Wes Anderson, though, Jason uh, Schwartzman is in. He's in Asteroid City. I think he's one of the main characters. He also makes a brief appearance in Righteous Gemstones. Oh, okay. I think in season two. I think Eric Andre is in season two also. <laughs> Does he play Eric Andre? Uh, like a southern version of Eric Andre, kind of. Yeah. Okay. All right, I think we got to go to some stupid fucking temples now or some shit. Yeah, it sounds about I don't right. remember what's happening in this game. <laughs> <laughs> they um they <coughs> pad out the ending of this shit a little bit towards the end. I do recall that. Pew. God, why? <laughs> I am breaking my <laughs> neck to talk to you. Yeah. You know wood doesn't bend like this. Yeah, right. You can't maintain that tension for that long. No, it's just gonna... Just hear the splintering. Well, he's a very malleable wood. He's like a yew. He's a yew. Yeah, he's, he's made, made from yew. the yew tree. Yeah. That's, that's, they made bows with that. Yep. I played it in Fable Anniversary. <laughs> Whoops! Oh, Wrong button. Alright, hold on. Hold up. Uh, this button. Oh, okay. There's only okay. There's only a couple. I gotta do the perimeter, the perim, as they like to call it. Um, I want to get these. Do I have? Do I have bait? How much bait do I have? None. All right, great. Nice. <laughs> all right, so I need to. All right, I, I gotta head to Windfall, I think, uh, or at least somewhere there's a beetle. I gotta go. I gotta go see Beetle. Let me get this. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna slap my legs. Oh, and I do have the deluxe picto box. Oh, yeah, I should go back to Windfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where the fuck is it? No. No. Is it this one? Windfall. There we go. I'm gonna go to Windfall. I'll tell you what. What you gonna what? We're gonna go to Windfall. I gotta get some bait. I'm gonna get the rest of these squares, Billy. You're gonna get the rest of the squares? I mean, I guess you're not that far away. No, it's the perim. I gotta do the perim. But, like, you yeah. know, what I found through that speed that. run, what I found through the speed run is there's a trick you can do when sailing to go faster. Is it going sideways no. to the wind? No, no, no. It's uh, doing this. <clears throat> oh. Oh, yeah, because it gives you a little boost. Yeah, you gotta get the timing of it. But yeah, it gives you a little boost so you go faster. Which makes sense. Too bad they don't do that like hardly at all in the actual speed run. Yeah. They do it, they do it one time, literally. <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, the rest of the time, if you're able to go faster by swimming, might as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty weird, that whole thing. <laughs> I also watched a, uh, 
a Monster Hunter World speedrun, and that was interesting. Okay. I've uh, I've watched a couple of different speedruns. I've watched like Mario Sunshine. I've seen. Oh god, what was that game? Elden Ring. I haven't watched Elden Ring just because I don't want to be spoiled, but who, who fucking cares? I've already seen, like, all this shit anyway. Well, I can tell you, if, uh... If you go and you do the, uh... Elden Ring one, it, it's only a couple minutes long, and... Yeah. They skip basically everything. That's the funny thing with all those FromSoft games, is they can skip so much stuff. Like, the Sekiro one is, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's, uh... Yeah. It's, it, it's... That thing is literally just... A person, like, at the start of the game... Twitching for a little bit... And then... You're at the end of the game. Yeah. And you're fighting the last boss. And the last boss is, like, the part where... Most of the time came up. And I'm like... This is stupid, yet very impressive, all at the same time. Yeah, it's one of those things, like, I kind of hate speedruns like that sometimes, because it's like, yeah, like, there's no, like, there's no way for you as a player to, like, see the skill involved in it, really, because you've never done the yeah. shit that they do. Where the fuck is Beetle at? Usually there's a Beetle here. Where's he at? Well, I do need a Beetle. Maybe he will spawn after I, like, enter a building or something. Yeah, I could. <laughs> oh, I, there is one good speed run. It is, um, Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. Uh, there's two, there's actually two pretty funny speed runs. The way, uh, they do it. Because there's actually two categories. There's, uh, first to the end of the game. You know, yeah. fast, fast, uh, fastest to end of game, and then there's fastest to sex scene. Oh, yeah, I think I've heard of that, yeah. <laughs> and they got it down to, like, I think three or four minutes. Oh, she looks terrible. <laughs> she does. Where is that guy at? Did I do this already? I, I, I must have. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, never mind. I thought I hadn't done that one yet. Yeah, the fa isn't like the fastest the sex scene like three minutes? Yeah, it's like three to four minutes long, and it's just a person fly jumping around, pushing people off of buildings, and then fly jumping back, and then like going to camp, and Basil being like, "Oh my fucking god, I am a horny frog," and then you fuck her. <laughs> you fuck a frog. <laughs> well, she's a gith and they're kind of like frog people because <laughs> oh. they lay eggs and beetle where the fuck are you at man go to go to your hometown is He's he usually there, there? is he normally there I don't know I just gotta find a beetle somewhere I need this bait man um I don't think there's anything else for me to do here right now here I wanna get rid of these fucking stupid photos I don't even yeah fuck that bitch um, shit. Did I get the song of passing from this motherfucker? I believe you did, yes. I probably do. I probably got it. Yeah, I do. Okay. I don't remember uh, where Beat was. I'm getting a little pissed off. Alright, where's my homeland at? My homeland's like all the way down here. Yep. Where does he normally show up? Fire Mountain, Dragon Roost. I think Dragon Roost he's usually at. I'll try hitting up Dragon Roost. Yeah, normally. I mean, he's gotta be somewhere. He's somewhere. He just normally you get like a beetle. Go. Normally you get like a beetle chart, but I don't think I have that. No. Beetle. Oh no, I do. Hey, you're supposed to be here, you chode. Where are you at? All right. Well, guess go to one of the other adjacent ones. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go east, and we're gonna go. 
Whoops, I'm gonna drown myself oh. first. <laughs> gotta, you know, gotta dip in the water. I think there's some fairy islands I need to go back to as well, because I didn't have certain items or something. Which ones I AR, I don't know. I also don't have the freaking uh, warp ability yet. Cause yeah. I, gotta, I gotta find the, the dude and shoot him. So I gotta get that. Just making sure he's not trolling around here and I don't see him. Yeah. All right. Oh, um, but the other way of speedrunning Baldur's Gate, which is getting to the end, uh, uh, you, you take Shadow Fart, Okay. Or, as everyone else calls her, Shart. <laughs> yeah. You take Shart, you kill her, you stick her body in a box, and then you talk to the box, and then it will launch you to the end of the game. Oh. Basically. Interesting. Yes. It's almost... I think it's almost as fast as getting first sex. Really? Yeah, like, they're roughly around the same time. But it turns out, talking to a dead body in a box, best way to get to the end of the game. Yeah, that makes sense. And the best I'm way to have sex... I see seaweed on top. Yeah. Gross. Yeah? yeah. Wow, yeah. I didn't expect that. Why do I... That's how it, came, that's how it comes. That's how I want it. All right. Gross. I want the canon... Uh, I want the canon Yakisoba experience. Yeah, Yoki Soba. There are some of these islands too. You gotta do this type of shit, which is really dumb. Yeah. Oh. You dead son. Well, yeah. The fastest way to have frog sex is kill like three people. The fastest way to uh, beat the game is uh, kill your friend and throw her in a box and then talk to your friend's body. That's that's the funny thing with like uh, speaking of frogs. What does this say? Oh, there's these are chews. Never mind. Dragon Frozen okay. Island. Yeah, hey, I already know this. I already know that. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie do. Um, that reminds me of a speed run for like I think it was like two worlds or something. Mm -hmm. And it's like. <laughs> All you have to do is like go to like some random dude and kill him, and then the game just doesn't know what to do, so it just ends. <laughs> no, I know, like, um, I don't know if it was Two Worlds 2 or something, but like you can meet the bad guy right at the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's probably then, that one, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, you just you get the townsfolk to murder him <laughs> <laughs> yep. because they're they're just too strong for him. You make him just whiff and hit someone, and then everyone aggroes, and they're like, "Well, oh, fuck this guy," and then you win. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> I don't know how to get up there. I don't remember how to get up there. Probably got something to do with the water going up and down. If I can get on top of this thing, it'd be perfect. Maybe I can. I just want to get the bait, and here I am doing other shit. <laughs> oh, nice, my. Cheap Cherokee is ready for pickup. Oh, that's convenient. Yes, it is convenient. You want to come over still? <laughs> oh, Probably I know not. what to do. I need the hook shot. I need the hook shot. I need the hook shot. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. I gotta wait anyway for uh, yeah, you one need band's to yeah, parents you need to, to yeah. show up so I can get there. That's fucking annoying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Billy yeah, was supposed to come here today, and then. Tells me that his his vehicle is still in the shop, and now they just text it that it's ready. Yeah, yeah, they're like, oh yeah, it'll be ready uh, Thursday last week, and then they're like, yeah, it's gonna actually be like four to five business days before we get the parts and setting it to the next Thursday, and then here yeah. we are, fucking Saturday, and they're like, oh, okay, what's ready? <laughs> fucking, you fucking people. Yeah. So did you have the parts or not? Cause yeah. So what did, are you just saying that it's done? Like you just don't want to deal with it now, or like what? <laughs> yeah, cause like something's going on, and I whatever. I'll wait until we'll have to we'll have to cut this short for a hot minute, and then I'll be able to get my car, and then I can come back, and we can continue. All right.
So we'll play it by ear. Yeah. Unless they, I they might, sh- uh, get yeah. delivery today. Oh, cool. I'll probably get some food myself, too. But yeah, her right. parents aren't going to be back until like 1.30. Yeah, we got that. Yeah. There he is. Beetle, you get bastard. Get over here, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I wanted you... to spend money with you, and yet yeah. you can't. Why aren't you everywhere at once? Yeah, why can't you be where I need you to be at any given moment? You slut. Also, you should have some nets on the side of your boat so that I can actually yeah. get on the fucker right, without dipping myself in the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Alright, I need, I need five things of bait. Then you're good. No more fish. No more fish after that, yeah. Please buy a bomb. Um, no, I don't need I a want bomb. You to- Please buy my box. <laughs> if you buy bombs, I promise I won't kill anyone with them. How many have I bought? Three? Three? Yep. I'm like not paying attention. <laughs> Here's your fourth. That should be your last one. I might buy one just in case. I got three reserves. Yeah, just in case you whiff it. Just in case I whiff it. The fucking oh, don't scene. mash it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, stop mashing it, dude. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll have I'll have one reserve. I'll have one backup. Or one set of three for backup, anyway. Where'd the fuck boat go? God the damn. fuck? <laughs> Why'd you move? Oh, that fucking mailbox is freaking out. I better go up there. Is that Nigel so Thornberry? Jamming. Smashing. <laughs> it looked like him from a distance. <laughs> yeah. What do you do? Not enough. Not enough chin and nose. Yeah. Definitely not enough. Nose. I saw the. I saw the chin strap like the mustache. So that's why I'm like, oh shit, dude, it's him. It's Nigel Coaster. Ooh. Put that on Coaster. It's very hot. That's hot. I put oh. some chicken in it and some wow. celery. Wow. Thank you. Uh-huh. I'm going to be one second. I got to let the puppy down. Okay. 200 rupees for postage. No, I ain't paying that. Hey, William Waldeon. You're like, uh. I'll be like, yeah, I'm William Waldeon. You're like, give me my shit back. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't want to be I'm that cool guy. Down. How cold are you letting it cold? Definitely not poison. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, that is. It's good honesty. That's that's key in a marriage, Billy. Yeah. Honesty. Right. It's right, like that one woman who was uh, putting bleach in her husband's coffee. <laughs> yeah, right. It's so, like, I was just cleaning it out. Or that guy that put, the, that put the rat poison in the pizza. Yeah. He's like, well, yeah, I was just making sure Fuck. there was no rats in your pizza, that's all. Yeah. Just, you know, I don't I didn't want any rats eating your pizza. What about your asshole? What? What? What did you say about your <laughs> asshole? I didn't say anything about my asshole. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I said You're... my great aunt poisoned her kids. Oh. I did not say my what an asshole, asshole poisoned my, kids. My great asshole poisoned your kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's a, that's that's something I've seen in my Japanese animes. It's just like one of my Japanese animes. But what kind of shit are you watching? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Billy. I think we're, we might have to call it an episode here. I'll yeah. get this guy. We're gonna talk to the fish first. Now this we'll we'll cut it here and I'll come back. So next time on Chess Jap Chaps, we watch some Japanese anime. Asshole. Asshole. <laughs>